if I could speak on behalf of Champion Data Gear, which I can't because I don't <laughs> work, I don't work for them, but I use all their tools. If you look right now, there's one team in the competition that is number one this season for turning possession into score. Wherever they get the ball, it goes. It's the number one ranked team, the greatest percentage of possession to score team. They are also the best at denying the opposition possession to score. So number one attack, number one defence in terms of not bleeding but making the opposition bleed. We've never seen that before. That, that, that hasn't happened. Well, I have seen it. It hasn't happened since 07. So we haven't seen it for 15 years. If you look across the competition, teams are rated high in one or the other. They're really good defensively or they're really good on, on offense. But they're not great at both. No other team is rated top six in both. They're one and one. The Cats, the Cats statistically are so much better than any other team. It'll take a freak event for them not to win. From, in my opinion, Jared, just in my opinion, it'll take a freak event for them not to, to not win the flag this year. And I'm talking like a, you know, a, a, a five goal centre bounce uh, performance against them, or or a, you know, five goal forward fifty stoppage performance against them, or a Mason Cox type night. It'll be it'll be a, a freak event that will stop Geelong winning this flag. In my opinion, now it doesn't mean that can't happen, and it doesn't mean that you know. Um, your team can't, does, still doesn't have assets. They do. They all do. The, the pointing end of the season, when it can, when all things come home to roost, they've been short Geelong because, in my opinion, their system has was poor. Their system this year is working with better talent than it's ever worked with. And, and this, I'm talking for the last 10 years, right back to their famous team of, you know, 7, 9, 11. And it's, 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 it's beating teams without having their best 22 in the lineup. I mean, we we haven't seen that before. So they they, they went without Blitzarves, Dangerfield, Selwood, and, and Rowan on the weekend. Like they're pretty handy players. So I, I just think that they are absolutely primed, right time, healthy, um, not reliant on one player. They're the only team in the comp right now who you can't say oh, we must tag this guy and stop this guy. Every other team at the top, you say, well, if we can stop, if we can stop. Scotty Pendlebury or Nick Dacos, well, we're halfway there. If we can stop Chad Warner, or if we can, so they don't have that at Geelong. So I, I'm, I'm all in on Geelong, and and we we weren't really all in on Melbourne. Everyone says, oh, but you're all in. No, we said they were seven, going at seventy percent, but their best was the best. Well, that's that's flipped. That's changed. They're not quite there. Doesn't mean they can't win it, but it'll take a freak event for me. That's a heavy king's gambit to start with, as you were an early adopter on the Cats and refining that right down to where it is after round 21.